ladies and gents, the dedication. It's snowing out here. I'm in Cuyahoga Heights. <laughs> I'm like never out here anymore. I used to come out here all the time. You guys enjoying the snow in 4K? Can we talk about it? All right, it's beautiful out here. Love it. Anyways, I found this site. Big shout out to the plug. Send me out here to come in and test the site. All right, this is a an N77 site that is on for Verizon. That's C-band, 3.7 gigahertz. There's the gear. All right, first of all, who's on this site anyways? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> that gear uh, could be anybody's. I don't know, it kind of looks like AT&T's. I guess I can check uh, for you guys, but there's the Verizon gear. All right, so let me give you guys a rundown of what you see. The sub six gigahertz LTE and DSS 5G are those taller panels that you guys see there. Okay, you see the two of them, tall. On the outside of those, the very outside, outside left, outside right, that is gonna be like your your mid-band gear. I think, I think those are, that's probably the AWS. Anyways, that we're not here for that. We are here for what is between the far left panel and then those two taller ones. What's in between? You see those two? You have CBRS above, and then you have the uh, 3.7 gigahertz below. All right, so we're gonna test that gear and confirming 5G ultra wideband N77 3.7 gigahertz. I believe the kids are calling it C band. Okay, let's test it. If it's any good 23 millisecond ping 55 millisecond jitter eh that's not great the ping is i mean you can get that on lt nothing special there the jitter that's i don't like that not good anyways downlink tremendous 600 megabits per second this is a combination of a couple of things here you got 60 megahertz of the 3.7 gigahertz n77 and then this uplink, oh my goodness, beautiful. Uh, I'm wondering if that's just um, the other sub six gigahertz LT stuff, all right? So, eh, probably some combination of AWS and PCS and maybe some band five in there, I would assume, possibly band 13 in there. I don't know, but that's really good. 606 by 104. I'll go ahead and test it again. And then I'm gonna test fast.com. There were some requests about fast.com. And at first, I thought it was going to be an issue like, you know, it's plan dependent. Fast.com tests video, you know, uh, throughput. So it's, you know, the Netflix servers and all that. So I was like, all right, some plans, it'll be four megabits per second. Some it'll be like eight or 10. And then some might be 40, like the legacy Verizon plan. But then I remembered if you're on ultra wideband, there's no restrictions. So <laughs> I should have been testing that. So anyways, here's another test. You guys will see it's pretty unpredictable. Like, look, we lost about 170 megabits per second on downlink, and we got our uplink cut in half. So they're, they're gonna be tuning this stuff for sure. 437 down, 52 up. At least the, the ping still in the 20s. The jitter, you know, it's down compared to the last test. That's good. Let me give you guys a fast.com test. Uh, where'd it go? There we go, fast.com. So you guys can see what you can get when you're connected to it. And you will see it is uncapped. No throttle. Just for it being video. Man, this is, I gotta get out of here. This is gonna start piling up. It is beautiful though, right? We love snow, man. <laughs> All right, we got 560 on the downlink on the N77. You guys can see like even the signal strength is kind of inconsistent. It's a work in progress, most definitely. All right, 38 millisecond ping on, on this test. Uh, looks like crazy sporadic testing going on in the uplink. We saw it as low as like 30 something and then as high as 70 something. I don't know. Looks like we're in the fifties to kind of settle out here. All right. So there you guys have it. That's your fast.com. And that aligns pretty nicely. Now look, look at the signal strength. Very, very rocky. I'm guessing that. You know, and, and guys, this is Samsung gear. I'm, 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 I got questions for Samsung on this gear. I really do. It's better, you know, I'm assuming it's better than what Nokia had. I mean, I've tested the Nokia. I didn't like it. It's, it's definitely better than that in my opinion, but, uh, mm, 
I don't know, man. I just still think Erickson's the gold standard, and that's the way to go. So 560 down, about 50 up. Uh, what I want to do for you guys is I want to test LT, okay? We got CBRs up there. Like I said, if you look up there at the gear, uh, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more for you guys. The, the N77's underneath, and then at the top is the 3.5 gigahertz band 48. So I'm going to go ahead and switch for you guys, and I'm going to test the LT. And the signal's back and strong. All right, let me test it for you guys. Let me switch things up. All right, we just switched from 5G on to LTE. Let's see what that's going to do. And you guys can tell that if you have 5G on, it's going to automatically connect to the ultra wideband C band right away, the N77. It's not going to go with the CBRS, the band 48. But uh, here's the LTE for you guys. Like I said, you know, you're getting yourself some decent throughput there. CBRS is really nice. It's very good. Uh, they're probably running, we're 30 megahertz licensed for Verizon here. So very impressive, but they can combine more carriers. So they're going to do, what are they going to do? If they're doing 30, so they got a channel of 20 band 48 and then a channel of 10. And then they're doing all the other LTE and they're just going to aggregate all that. 417 down, 55 up, 28 millisecond ping, 1.9 millisecond jitter. Verizon has the best LTE when you're talking about, you know, CBRS and all these band 48 and such. Uh, let me give you guys a, a pixel test. All right, let me go ahead and pull this down here. We'll test the pixel on LTE. By the way, the pixel six pro great phone. Love it. So many nice things about it. Uh, no N77 from Verizon on it for whatever reason. All right, let's go ahead and confirm the signal here let me see what we're connected to uh, this is signal check pro and it looks like we're connected to band 5 that's a 10 by 10 channel here they dss it by the way but see you're not going to connect to this site's dss unless you're far away it's going to default you to the n77 anyways let's test it let's see what we get here on the pixel uh, google pixel 6 pro this is going to be band 48 this is cbrs lte and we'll see how it compares to the the iPhone, which did really good. 417 down, 55 up. And then on the Pixel, 274 down, and it looks like we're in the low 30s there. 20 millisecond ping, 7 millisecond jitter. Hmm. iPhone better. Let's run one more test. Let's just confirm it. Just so we know. Twenty-three millisecond ping, four millisecond jitter, and it looks like we're pushing about three hundred. So the iPhone delivered on the LTE side, and obviously with the N seventy-seven side. All right, y'all, tell me what you think of the testing: the LTE, the CBRS, the N seventy-seven. You know, Verizon's new channel, the the flavor of the week. Everybody's excited about that. Tell me what you think of the results and the performance and all of that. Uh, I'm, I'm probably going to make another video to follow up on this on the range. I will tell you guys, on my way in, it connected from a mile. I think it was about a mile. So I'll go ahead and make a separate video for that, and you guys can give me the your feedback on it. So thanks for watching. Big shout out to the C-Band gang <laughs> over on Twitter. Um, and um, big shout out to everybody who's been sending donations to the channel. I appreciate you all. You guys are so generous, and, and I'm grateful to have you. Thanks for supporting. Give this video a like and a share. Uh, subscribe for more if you want more content like this from the channel and uh, uh, share this video. Help me out. You can do that. You know, that's the best thing you do. Tell about the channel and uh, links in the description for the Patreon page. My email address is there uh, as well as my Twitter handle. You can follow me, you know, and yeah, it's awesome. Get discounts on most mobile just for supporting us on Patreon. Check us out there. Uh, links in the description. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all in the next one. Peace.